Okay, so I got work in the morning, so I gotta get ready for bed soon. But as I was cleaning up on um, my phone, I left my I left my phone play its watch later playlist, and it got to a video by David Pakman, and I give all credit to him. But I have. I have known who Sean Hannity is for the last 10 years since I first heard him all being responded to by people like Jon Stewart. And he is such a partisan hypocrite. He doesn't know anything except rah-rah team Republican and now rah-rah team Daddy Trump. And now, now he is saying that calling for Donald Trump to be locked up is despicable, yet says nothing about the fact that for the last four years I've heard nothing but lock her up about Hillary. You know, corrupt, yes, but criminal, no. The FBI's cleared her. The FBI's cleared her about the Benghazi he, and and uh, emails. But the FBI, they won't li they'll listen to the FBI when it says there was there's no evidence of collusion. But they won't listen to the FBI when they say uh, we've looked into Benghazi and uh, the whole email situation, and we find no criminal, no evidence of crimes on on committed by Secretary Clinton. And now, mm, I am so mad. Just, 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 just play the damn clip. Despite these obvious flaws, this bias, this deception, Mueller's report, the irrefutable fact that there was no collusion. Well, of course, the rage Trump Democratic Party, they're just hell-bent on one thing, one thing only, and that's impeaching the president. They don't have a reason. They don't state a reason. But, of course, they get the assistance of the psychotic media mobs, conspiracy theorists, liars. And tonight, this is no longer a Democratic Party like of Scoop Jackson, even Joe Lieberman. Instead, it is now the party of anti-Trump rage and psychosis. And for some reason, even impeaching Trump apparently is not enough. That Speaker Pelosi now apparently telling senior Democrats she'd like to see Trump behind bars. Uh, based on no actual crime, she wants a political opponent locked up in prison. Um, that happens in banana republics, beyond despicable behavior. And by the way, they would literally turn, in many ways, the USA into a country we would no longer recognize. No reason? No reason? No reason to impeach him? We give, we give no reason? Are you fucking kidding me? There is a shitload of reasons to impeach Trump. One, he is just mentally unstable. Just, just for his mental state is reason enough to impeach him. Two, he has committed violations of the monuments cause. He is accepting billions of dollars in donations. He is very discriminatory against trans people. He is bombing nine different countries, and he actually like this, like he vetoed a, a, a Senate bill that was to end the, our involvement in Yemen. And he committed, Mueller report, Mueller himself said that Trump committed 10, at minimum, 10 acts of obstruction of justice. 10 acts! And he lies! He lies more, he has lied, He lying to him, for Trump, lying comes as natural as breathing. He has lied more time. The number of lies he has told is more than the number of days this man has been in office. He has told at least 10,000 lies. He lies all the time. For one example, windmills, noises, cause cancer. The, the eagles, that there's just... The, 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 the very slow moving propellers are killing eagles. And also, there's one where he's on video. He said that if Nancy Pelosi could prove that she was of Native American ancestry, he would um, donate a million dollars to a charity of her choice. Now, whether he's obligated to say it, uh, obligated to pay or not is irrelevant because. But what I'm saying is, he later said that he didn't say that. I didn't say that I was going to donate. He, he, this guy just, for, for Trump, lying means nothing to him. He literally thinks everyone is as stupid as he is. He lies, lies, lies. He said that Mexico and China are willing to, are, we're just, 
They're they're just on this close to making a deal with us about trade wars. No, they're not. No, they're not. He lies and hopes that no one will fact check him. Perjury. That's what they impeached Bill Clinton over. Although really, they impeached him for having an affair. Now, the jour, they impeached him for perjury. But de facto, they impeached him for having an affair. Because these right-wingers, they're so Puritans. But we give so many reasons for impeaching him. You fucking idiot. And Mueller himself says, I can't, because of some stupid 1970 memo, which which was a partisan memo what, referring to Nixon, who was in, about to be impeached had he not resigned. And if that says that um, that the FBI can't indict a sitting president or something like that, which I think is bullshit. Um, but he said, yes, he committed crimes. He made there was insufficient evidence of collusion. That's not saying that there is no... That doesn't mean that he, there's, he's saying that they didn't commit collusion. He's saying, these people lied to me so much, I can't tell if he committed collusion. And also... The rage, the anti-Trump rage machine, that that's all this is? For eight years. For eight fucking years. I remember you, Sean Hannity, coming up with all these conspiracies, all these, he's a horrible man, Obama's a horrible man, he's horrible, he's a horrible president, he wasn't born here, he's a Muslim, he hates America, he's calling, it, he's calling America racist. You know, he talked about, Obama talked about how uh, you know, he remembers, like, he walked, went through a neighborhood and people would lock their car doors. He says, he's calling America racist. The, he, he, Sean Hannity is the biggest partisan hypocrite. He was deep into the Obama derangement syndrome. When, when Bush did the NSA spying, he said, oh, it's great. It's protecting our country. But as soon as... Obama came around, it's a violation of our Fourth Amendment rights, it's a violation of the Constitution, he's, Obama's instituting a police state, and now that another Republican's come in, just, mmm, just head in the president's ass. If not moved, he's, if he hasn't moved in entirely inside Donald Trump's ass, he's got his head shoved up there. A little bit graphic, but I don't care, that's how furious I am. Sean Hannity is the biggest partisan hypocrite, and I've seen a lot of them, but, but if there was a king of partisan hypocrites, Sean Hannity would be king. There, the, to him, being, being a hypocrite, being double standards, being a partisan hack, doesn't matter. As long as he's defense of the Republican Party and Donald Trump, he is good. I, you know, I have nothing good to say about Sean Hannity. Nothing. Nothing. Like, there were some good things I could say about John McCain. You know, he was humble. He was anti-war. He was anti- Well, I mean, he was anti-torture. He was pro-war, obviously. But he was anti-torture, and he was very humble when he, when he ran. But there's nothing I, good I can say about, you know, Sean Hannity. There's nothing I can say that's good about Sean Hannity. Nothing. He's, all he knows is the Republican Party and Trump. Defend the Republican Party, Trump, own the libs and Democrats. You know, it's super hypocritical also how for the last four years, all I heard, for the last four years, all I've heard, Donald Trump himself said, you know, uh, it's like Hillary was like, it's a good thing that Donald Trump doesn't have control of this system. He's like, uh, then you would be in jail. And he wanted to actually, he actually tried to lock her up. He failed. But, but did, what did, did Sean Hannity say anything about that? No. Because for him, locking up Democrats because they're political opponents, it's okay. Like, even mentioning locking up Republicans, it's, it's disgraceful, it's despicable. This is what do in Banana Republics, whatever that is. Isn't that like a store? Isn't that like a clothing store? I don't know. I just, oh god. What? Like, Sean Hannity's contract is set to expire in 2021, and apparently he's wanting to leave Fox News, apparently, because they aren't loyal enough to Donald Trump. Oh, poor baby. It For once, is Fox News not giving enough, kissing Donald Trump's ass enough to your liking?
Do they not live in Donald Trump's ass like you do? Oh. Ah, God, I hate Sean Hannity. I know as a Christian, I'm not supposed to hate, but I can't stand him. Ugh. And just in the nick of time, before I could punch a hole in the wall, my girlfriend video chatted me and sent me a, a, a link to a music video that basically said how much she loves me. And well, let's just say I felt feels I haven't felt since 2015. Well, I just, and so I'm feeling better now and I'm going to go to bed. I want everyone to stay positive. Good night. God bless you all. And may the force be with you.